What's up everyone, it's Kaisen here and welcome back to The Awakening. As I promised, this one is right after the one that I just finished. We are in front of Belly of the Beast level 2, going in. And this episode uh, will mainly be about uh, Cruel Piety, Act 4 Piety to be exact. And maybe uh, we have some more time to uh, start with the harvest and maybe kill one or two of those guys. Maybe even all of them. It really depends on how fast we can go. That's a 30 topaz. I'll grab that. Okay. So, let's see what they got in store for us. Hmm, nah. I think I'll, I'll pretty much stop with the, with the superior weapons now. Since I, I do have, uh, enough currency in that sense, and especially, woo, okay, this is a tiny bit dangerous. Um, especially because I do have enough armors, uh, armor scraps and uh, blacksmith, mets, uh, blah, blacksmith whetstones already, so I don't really have to accumulate them anymore. I do want to kill this guy, but I don't think I want to go in this direction. Let's go over here. I still feel like the the entrance to piety is always on the same side, if if you can call it side. It's like on the left hand side is the door into her, so that's why I'm always trying to stay as left as possible, not in a political sense, obviously. Although, I guess. Even there, I'm more left than right. Um, okay. But maybe this is the right way after all. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, it turns around. Let's uh, get the curse down here. Nice. Some blues. Down under feet. Ray Spectre. Well, we might be able to uh, to sell that. Okay, there's the spawner. Let's get rid of the spawner. And we have a fractured mob right here, which is not an issue for us at all because we basically kill all of the fractured mobs straight away when they come out. Is this a dead end? Yes, it is. Alright, off we go. Oh. Interesting. Let's curse him. Let's try to get him down real fast. Baba. -ba. Yeah. You're no match to me. Uh, why am I finding all of the dead ends? I'm not looking for them. I promise. Okay. Let's get rid of this guy. See ya. Yeah. Uh, let's get my distraction back up. Yeah, the Stygian after the, the rework or the, the nerf in that sense is definitely um, not as not as harsh anymore. It was dealing a lot more damage beforehand, which a lot of summoners are sad about um, that it doesn't anymore. Okay, so we made it to the bowel. Um, that's piety again. As before, on normal difficulty, or let's say it's it's even more important now, that you can evade most of the damage in here, which means especially her laser, which is uh, both physical and lightning damage at the same time. So, uh, and in between, make sure that you kill all of the spawners that come up. Yep, she is about to cast. So we'll just... Just gonna bring my body back up. 
just because I have the time to do so. And we can already... Okay. Oh. That hurt. Alright. Let's evade her. He's not really doing much. Look at that. Oh, well. That was not too bad. I thought it would deal more damage to him. I think she's about to cast. Yeah. Okay, we have to get this spawner down as quickly as possible. There we go. Because it's it's not just about uh, the spawner uh, getting out the these guys. It's more about the spawner um, targeting you as well. And you just don't want that to happen. You can't... Can you? Yeah, you can. Okay. I was about to... Uh, find out whether you could target her while she is doing the beam, but you can. So that's good. Alright. And she is costing again. So you can see it's super easy to avoid it. I can even uh, deal a bunch of damage while avoiding it. Cursing her again. And we have the spawner up again. Getting the spawner down. Nice. She should be about to cast again. Yes. Running in circles. Dealing some damage while we're doing it. Bringing our buddy back up. And avoiding... Oh, spawner. Hello. Okay. Yeah, she has no chance. Lady. You're... You have no chance. You're just... Too bad for me. Too bad. Too bad. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. You know, Piety, you should have stayed in hiding. Now you're probably gonna die. I have a feeling that you will. Alright, so we're going into the harvest now. That was actually super easy. Uh, I didn't even have to use my flask because I was never in any danger to get hit. And the harvest uh, with the boss fights might be a bit more tricky. We'll see how it uh, how it turns out. Chevron should be super easy. Um, Dodri, I think I'm getting used to Dodri, so uh, she's not that harsh anymore. I have the feeling that the the hardest one um, might be what's his face, the third one. Um, the one with, with all of the... I think he has some, some kind of f fire trap, but chaos-based. And uh, EK and all of that. Because it is really hard to evade the damage that he deals. So that, that makes it a bit more tricky. A bit trickier. That's maybe the better English. Ow. Alright, where's the spawner? No spawner? Okay. Oh, Chaos. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, uh, since the Chaos did drop, I just want to mention that I think um, throughout the episodes, um, uh, I mentioned that I was uh, trading uh, some stuff here and there. So just to let you guys know, I think I made roughly 8 to 9 Chaos, maybe, uh, from, from trading all my the items that I found, or especially the gems that I found away. Um, I had the, the two fivelings as well that I... I think I still have one. But I sold one of them, so I made some currency on the side. And we can use that currency once we, once we get towards maps. Okay, we can get the waypoint here first, so that makes it easier to get back to it uh, when we need it. And now we're just gonna go into the harvest. Oh, there's some damage incoming. Yep. Come on, just die. Thank you. Let's get the spawner down so that damage is out of the way. Alright, I have to deal with my nose real quick. <coughs> Oh, 
is there, whoops. Curse immune. That's not a big issue. Those guys fall down in a second anyway. Alright. This way it is. Hello. I was pretty skeptical about Act 4. Uh, when I played it the first time, I was not too impressed, but I have to say, uh, it's more enjoyable than I thought. Oh, and here we have, okay, chevrons. Um, pretty much exceptionally lightning-based. We do have 75, so we should be absolutely fine. Let's get our buddy in for the tanking. We do want to find the right uh, amount of uh, distance to her, where she can't really target us with her melee attack, which is lightning tendrils, and actually deals quite a bit of damage. Um, but we want to be close enough. Yeah, see, she was going for... Uh, let's get... Hello. Come on back up. Here we go. She was going for melee lightning tendrils. Right there. Same here. Uh, starts to deal a bit of damage, but it's still not a big issue. I just, I don't want to get into the lightning tendrils range because that might hurt. And I don't feel like it makes a lot of sense to get my my golem back up. He dies in a second anyway. So I'm just gonna get her down like this. Here we go. Okay. No. You're not coming close to me. Peace out. <laughs> Got the entrails. That's the first step. Now you can come back. And we're going hunting again. Let's see if we find more on this side. So you can see just with the... Um, I guess there's two things. Uh, having decent, halfway decent gear, also a bit of armor, especially for Act 4, and the ride flasks. In my case, I'm using two hallowed, uh, hallowed, whoops, yeah, they are hallowed, but uh, panicked is um, the important part that I wanted to highlight. Um, so with the panicked ones, you can you can go a bit more ham, and you don't really have to be too afraid. Okay, it's 2k DPS right now, with the level up, 2.3, nice. Get in there, boys. Alright. Let's keep on moving. Oh, this is a... Oh, it's a unique one. I don't think I've seen a unique one before. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. I want to check this out. So... Where's the second challenge? Decoy? Nah. Malagaro, okay. So I think this is the one that uh, might be the most tricky one. We get everything to level up before we go in. That's not bad. So let's see how we do in here. I actually, just for safety's sake, I'm just going to open a portal, just in case. I don't think that we necessarily need it, but... You know, better save than sorry. I know this is softcore, but I'm not playing softcore, so <laughs> just uh, just imagine this as being woo, as being hardcore anyway. Okay, I do want to get a bit of distraction up again. Maybe I shouldn't even curse him because then uh, and feeble will stay on him. That might be... Oh. And while saying it, I'm just doing the opposite. Yeah, you can see that this is a lot of damage. And I don't really have any 
flask charge is coming back up. So I'm just going to fill it, fill my life flasks back up. I don't think I need a second portal. He should go down pretty fast now. Hello? Okay. I made it. Um, oh. I do want my second aura back. Yes. Thank you. Whoa. That was some spike damage right there. And here we go. Nice. So let's just grab all of this stuff. And we're on our way to Dodri. Hey, buddies. Dodri's all the way up there, so I'm probably just gonna clear my inventory beforehand. And we're back. And on our way to kill Dodri, the last one standing. Some guys with frenzy. We don't care. Is there a spawner? Yep. Baba -ba spawner. And level up. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what do we need. Um We were down here, so we're going into decks over here. Alright. Let's keep going. Alchemy. I'll take it, sure. Spawner again. Two of them. First down, whoops. And second down. Okay, so what do we have now? Next level is 40. Uh, cast one damage taken supports all the way to 44, so we can definitely still get this up. Okay, here we have Dodri. Let's go in. Let's see how we do. Okay, this is the wrong one for sure. Oh, yep, this is the wrong one. But the beauty is that we do have our cost wind damage taken set up now, so she will deal not um, not even close to the damage that she dealt to us before. And I think most of the damage, because we can't really stand still too much in here, most of the damage that we deal to her uh, will be um, by igniting her, which is, that's fine by me. I don't mind... Okay, I do mind this one. Come on, Dodri. Yeah, as soon as we get out of her projectiles like this, we are completely fine. And she's ignited. Beautiful. Nope. Let's get my friend back up. Oop. I am out of mana flasks. So... I can't really curse too often. And I don't necessarily want to use a town portal if I don't have to. And I don't think I really have to. Can I curse her? Yes, thank you very much. Oh, That's the big one. That's the big damage dealer. Okay, that's the wrong zone now. Let's get her in a different one then. Uh, the, the more often I play this, this fight, the more often it is just annoying instead of really hard. Because not just that uh, you have to constantly move around within the three zones, there's also these pillars in the way all the time, which maybe uh, the developers initially thought that they might be good for the players to hide behind, but for me it's more uh, so that 
I can't target her properly just because they're always in the way. Okay, let's get my buddy here. So we can draw her here as well. And I'm just gonna pop my flask and face tank a bunch of stuff. Alright. Pop again, face tank. Bye bye. Okay. Alright, I think we actually do have let's let's go the quick way. We do have enough time for Malachi in this episode as well. So we will end this episode uh with stepping into Merciless. Having one foot into Merciless. Okay, so let's get everything back up. And this was the last one, so now the black core is open. And we can go in. Let's see how this works out. I'm pretty sure I can do him deathless. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Um, by the way, I just found out that... Um, okay, you should definitely... Whoa, I'm lagging a lot right now. Um... You don't want to stand in the, um, what is it, the the beam that you see from Piety going towards Malachi. You don't want to stand in that, because apparently you take increased damage if you if you stand in it. And uh, when he comes back up, okay, so we have to focus. Piety now. That's why I want to get my body back up to have somebody else that those two can focus. Whoa, that's a lot of damage to avoid. Yeah, I kind of had to run through this. Ow. Ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Let's just uh, make a detour here. Because uh, it seems like they wanna they wanna kill me. I don't know what's going on. What's going on, guys? Aren't we friends? Aren't we all buddies? Okay, now Scion. All right, let's go for him. Channeling, and we can just deal damage to him. Don't go into the smash. That's like a vol smash. A bit more dangerous and a bit more powerful, so not where you want to stand. And this one is kind of like the the Dominus thingy when he comes back up. Yeah, just go on the other side. In most cases, it is easiest to just run through it instead of run away from it. I mean, it depends on your positioning, obviously, but okay can kind of get around this. Don't take too much damage. Oh, that was actually some damage. Uh, let's try to get my... F oh, or this one. Sure. I wanted to get him, but I'll take this one as well. Ow. She should be down. Yep. So that's the end of piety, and that means the first round is over. Yeah, it serves you right. You were not supposed to survive this anyway. Alright, main fight, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Oops, that was once too many. But I, I feel like the second form is easier than the first one, to be honest because I don't have to deal with piety in here. Yeah, he deals some damage, but I deal more. <laughs> and I will I will not curse him, I just decided, uh, because then I'll probably have uh, constantly um, enfeeble on him, which I think is more important. Okay, I do wanna, I do want him to go away from there a tiny bit, whoops. Okay, let's get some of the heart down. Yeah. Let's get my guy back up. 
Yeah, I can't really attack the heart if he's right in front of it. So I want him... Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, we're going over here. Attacking the heart, trying to not die ourselves. Whoop. He's going for his melee attack. That's okay, I'm out of it. First heart down. Getting my body back up. And... Beautiful. I should not run through these. I'm a bit stupid when it comes to that. The, the signs on the floor, like this. I'm just not being careful enough to not run through them. And I think it, it, it's not too harsh and cruel right now, the penalty for, you know, doing stuff like this. But um, if we at some point want to fight him in Merciless, uh, it just deals so much damage. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> that was very bad positioning on my part. Yeah. Okay, let's just, uh, for the fun of it, open one here. Man, they hurt. Let's kill some guys. I think I should be fine just by killing his adds. There's enough adds floating around that you can just get your charges back. I just have to be careful of this. Because I'm always running into those guys here. So my evade is terrible. Okay, now we can deal some damage. No. Where's my buddy? Here we go. Tiny, tiny amounts of damage. Yeah, I am selfish. But you're selfish as well. So, let's be selfish together. Oh, that was not good. Man, you can see my positioning in this fight is super terrible. I should have, I should have died. Okay, that was a bit better. Curse him, or not curse him. I'm always forgetting that I'm not supposed to curse here. Okay, we got to the second heart. Woo. Woo. Alright. Let's get our friend up. Deal some damage to the heart. And get the fuck out. A lot of stuff happening. Curse. Deal damage. Deal damage. Get the heart down, get the heart down. I think it is pretty much down. Ouch. Is it? Yes, it is. Nice. Alright, where is he coming back up? Yeah, don't want to run into that. Can you please stop moving around? And channel your melee. I would appreciate it. Oh, here we go. Melee. Nice. Not in my face. I do want to survive. Alright. Whoa, no. What was I doing? I am misclicking quite a bit. That's why I can't play games like uh, uh, League of Legends. Where if you misclick, you don't have an alt anymore. And you're just losing the game for everyone. Uh, it's not a good game for me. This one is kind of the same, but you have a bit more leeway, that's why I'm still surviving. Here we go. Alright. Coming back up. No. And the curse is too expensive, that's why most of the times I don't really have the mana to curse him. Now I do. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. That's some nice damage. We should be down to the last heart, I think. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful, ouch. Ideally, I shouldn't <laughs> run into that stuff. 
I just ran through all of the damage. How about using Flame Dash? Eh? Might be an option. Ooh, hoo, hoo. what the? Okay, there's just so much death right here. Let's get it down, get it down. Let's get some charges back. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Who? All right. I need you, Pikachu. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh no! Not not running in there. <laughs> this is fun. This is really fun. As long as I don't die. If I die, this is not fun anymore. Okay? That's the rule. Alright. It's all fun and games. Let's get my friend back up. Ow. We can deal some damage here. Yep. Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! That was terrifying. Okay. Back up. No, I don't want to get in that corner. That could be a death trap. Let's get him. Okay, that's actually, that's a bit better here. Yeah, where is he? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, baby? Here we go. Alright. That was good. You. I don't want to stand in there. Whoo! <laughs> I perfected the, uh, just fleeing from him. Okay. Oh boy. That was, uh... It was a few close ones. Explode! Bam! Yeah! Gotcha! Gotcha! And we made it into Merciless. Not going in, but next episode, you'll see me in Merciless. Uh, let's see. How long was this? Oh yeah, that's over 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, sorry for the few more minutes, but I definitely wanted to and cruel this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> My flask management was not too great, I have to say. But we made it out alive. And just to show you guys, this is the end of Cruel. And we haven't died yet. We'll see when the first death comes along. Hopefully, uh, we can make it to maps deathless. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. <coughs> want to see more? Whoa, my voice. And I'll see you guys next time.